Welcome to the first episode of Are Your Designs Any Good? Introducing Are Your Designs Any Good with Shimmy Morris. Anyway, I hope you like that intro. I thought I'd make a funny intro for this kind of video, but as you know, this video is in this series, I should say, is all about me reviewing your designs, and I have got so many submissions. I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone who has submitted a design for me to review on this series. I've got over 90 submissions, and don't worry, I'm not reviewing all of them now. This is going to be a twice a month kind of video, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing 13 designs, okay? And the reason I picked 13 is because I wanna keep this video under 15 minutes, under 20 minutes, so I thought that made the most sense. So before we get started, just a few things and we'll get cracking right on with the video. If you haven't already subscribed, my name is Shane Morris. I make print on demand videos, Amazon videos, YouTube videos, you name it, hit that subscribe button. And if you are new here, let me know in the comments that you are new here so I can welcome you to the channel. I can reply to your comment. I love responding to everyone's comments and as well as all of that, if you wanna get involved in this, you can go and check out this video where I talk about this whole thing that I'm doing, and if you already know what I'm doing, and or your design has been you know, on this episode, then the link in the description is there if you want to submit a new design, okay? So, without further ado, let's get cracking on with the video. We're gonna start with this design. Let me get rid of this hair on my uh, screen. So, I've got my iPad here and let's get going. So this, I assume, is a baby t-shirt. Now, as well as actually criticizing the design, I'm gonna give some advertising or marketing kind of tips. I thought I'd make it a bit a bit extra, a bit more special for you. So this one, look, I don't know what's going on here. I assume it's a brand of some sort. Um, like I said in the email, there's no messages, there's no links or anything, so you've given me this t-shirt, which is fine. Um, in terms of the quality of the graphic, besides this cheek situation, I don't know what's going on with the cheek here, besides that, everything else is absolutely fine. Um, it just seems like a bit of a, a bit of an odd design. I don't know who you're targeting here. You've got to make sure that you're targeting someone, okay? So I like the graphic, it's a brilliant picture, but you've got to, you've got to sort out your targeting. <laughs> Quentin Quarantino, this is hilarious. Okay, so, the, okay, this is a brilliant t-shirt. The, the the few issues I have with this is it seems, seems a bit too kiddie. So people who who know Quentin, 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 Quentin Tarantino, it's a hard name to say, people who know him, right, aren't going to be teenagers, right? They're going to be adults in the 20s, the 30s who are going to really appreciate his work. So this kind of design, as you can see from the, the let me let me record my screen, that's a good idea. I can't record my iPad screen. Okay, forget that. Um, this kind of design that you can see here, this is a very kiddie type of virusy kind of design. As well as that, I don't think people are going to be buying this. Even though it is slightly funny, it just, I wouldn't wear it. Okay, and if I did, I would sort out the colors. I wouldn't, the green eyes, I don't get the eyes. I don't get the, 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 the fonts. Just, I'm not a fan of the design, okay? But in terms of targeting, just to talk about targeting for a second, targeting is not so bad on this because you can target fans of his movies, you can target him as a person on Facebook. So that's actually not such a bad idea in terms of targeting. I just can't think of an adult wearing wearing that. Get on your way. This is pretty cool. Now this I recognize, this is from Placeit. Again, if you like using Placeit, links in the description down below to you know use Placeit. But Placeit is brilliant for making logos. And as you can see, this is a top quality logo. The issue is, I don't know how much of this you change. You have to make sure it's kind of unique because you don't want someone else creating the exact same thing as you. But I, I probably would wear this. This is quite cool, all right? The only thing I'm not such a fan of is the green. Unless the green is your brand, that's fine. Um, get on your way. You need to have, I think you need more of a message there. Um, but, it's, it's it's a pretty cool design. I do like the design a lot. It is really, really cool. I'm just, I'm nervous for you. I don't know who you target. Also, he's got a drop handle, drop handle bike here, but he's a mountain biker. I think any 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 real enthusiast biker would, would look at this and be like, this doesn't make any sense. This is not a mountain bike, but he's on a mountain bike and this whole thing doesn't fit. So you have to really learn your audience, get to know them and find out exactly what they would want. That's really, really important, okay? And again, I just want to quickly say, um, if this video is incredibly blunt, incredibly, you know, brutally honest about designs that are bad, 
designs that are good, whatever. That's just how I'm I'm gonna do these 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 episodes, right? I don't want to beat around the bush here and you know tell you, oh, this is so nice and it's so good. And there's no point in doing that. I'd rather just tell you how it is. So yeah, this is a great design. I just don't understand the, the get on your way bit. I don't I don't get why that's connected. And also you've got to fix the bike. That's not a mountain bike, right? Next one. Oh, I've got to download this one. Okay, a few technical difficulties there. Anyways, so this logo someone sent me, it just says the word breathe um, and it's got like painting on it. Now, the issue with something like this is I have absolutely no idea who you're targeting. I don't like the font. Um, I don't like the lack of capitalization. I, the art inside the word is cool and I can see it's a cool effect, but I don't understand it unless you've got a big audience behind you and this is you know a catchphrase or it's, it's something that they hear a lot. I don't understand who's going to be buying this kind of design. So I would say, yeah, no, I'm not a fan of that. Not at all. Right, moving on. Committed to coffee and loving dogs. Ah, this is awesome. Okay, so this, I, I remember the email. They said that they're a designer. They're not like, they do their designs on Fiverr. So that's really, really cool. I have to say two things about this. One, I love the fonts. Um, you haven't done too many fonts. Okay, you've done, it looks like you've done three fonts here, which I said three fonts is a good amount of fonts. Um, you've done, it's it's all very, <clears throat> it's very wavy, it's very, very flowy, it looks, it's easy to look at. Um, the only thing that concerns me here is it's just a bit too, uh, like, committed to coffee and loving dogs. It's not like, y you want to have broad, you want to have lots of niche targeting, but you want it to be subtle. You don't want to be like, I love dogs and I love cats and I love coffee on a t-shirt. Because it's just like, uh, it's a bit meh. Right, so um, you could say committed to coffee and dogs, right? Or committed to coffee and cats, right? But I wouldn't say committed to coffee and loving dogs. It's just a bit too, it's a bit too, too much. I, I just look at the loving dogs bit and I'm just like, no. So, I mean, look, there's nothing wrong with, with loving dogs and everything, but my point is, it's a great design. <coughs> it's a great design. He's done a really good job. I just think the words need a bit of tweaking here um, to really, really get people interested in buying but the targeting is there because you've got coffee lovers and dog lovers so that's really really good so you are spot on with your designs next one mm. you can have anything you want in life if you dress for it okay my issue with this is the simplicity is nice okay it's cool um who on earth are you targeting like, are you targeting people who, I don't even know. I don't even know who you're targeting. This, okay, you have to understand there's two types of print on demand games. You've got game one, where you are an amazing designer and you post your designs onto places like Merch by Amazon or Redbubble, right? And, and you play the design card and you just make incredibly beautiful, amazing designs that will sell. And then game two is a marketing game, okay? And this is where you are incredible at marketing and you are not incredible at designs and that's absolutely fine. Your marketing is so good though that you sell designs through advertising and through just being so good at marketing. This design doesn't fall under either category because it's not targeted and it's not an incredible design. So you're in category three of designs that just won't get sales. You have got to be in category one where you're an amazing designer or you pay for amazing designs and you sell amazing designs that don't have an audience, right? Or category two where your designs are basic like this, but they're incredibly targeted like this guy, right? This isn't necessarily a beautifully incredible design. It's, it's a good design, but it's not amazing. But the thing is, it's targeted. So he's gone down the marketing route. This one hasn't gone down any route and I just don't, I don't, don't see it. So again, yeah, moving on. I'm not black by accident, I'm black by design. Okay, so this is based on the Black Lives Matter movement and all of that kind of trend and hype that's moved up, that's gone on with that. Personally, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't sell t-shirts like that and try and profit off of it. If all of this is going to some sort of charity to help black people, then that's incredible and I salute you. But I have a feeling it's going into your back pocket, in which case I'm not the biggest fan of this. But talking about just designs, Okay, so stuff like the I'm and the by, the lines are way too close to the letters. It's very hard to, it, they just blend in with the lines. Um, in terms of the overall design, it's quite good. I kind of like it. Um, the catchphrase is very good. Uh, it's just, I don't know who you target because you can't just target all black, target all black people because there's a lot, right? You, you, 
You can target like the Black Lives Matter movement, you can target things like that, but will those people buy these kind of shirts? I mean, I guess they would for rallies in that sense, so it could it could make a lot of sense for rallies. But like, would people feel comfortable profit, uh, like giving someone else money for these kind of things when they would probably want their money to go to charity for these kind of things? I don't know. It's a difficult one, and 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 I never really I never really get into uh, uh, political trendy topics because I just not only do I not want the backlash, I don't want to profit off of off of things that are going on. Like, so if there's something trendy going on, that's absolutely fine. But something politically trendy, like you know the like like Black Lives Matter, or if there's something anti-Semitic, or if there's something racist, or if there's um, a politician said to another politician, I try not to get involved in that just because it just it's just it's a mess. All right, it's an absolute mess, and also it's a get rich quick kind of thing. People, this is not longevity. There's no evergreen. There's nothing evergreen here, right? This this will uh, uh, live and die as long as the um, the it's in the news, right? As long as it's it's as long as it's as long as it's like um what's, what am i trying to say it will live and die as long as it's like in the headlines right as soon as, as soon as it's not in the headlines anymore you're not going to get any sales and, and personally i like to create designs that will get sales for a longer period of time so uh, that's what that's my two cents for this design okay right design yes i am a girl and a mum and a daughter i know programming Ugh. okay you have taken what I, I, I said a while ago way too literally in that I made a video where I said you want levels of targeting, okay? So you want to target someone who on different levels. So for example, a dad who has a daughter who likes this, who likes that, right? You want to you wanna target levels and that way you're targeting, if you're playing the marketing game, which was game two, if you're playing that game, you want to have very, very niche targeting and that way it just makes your life so much easier. I'm on 13 minutes and I've got whoa i've only done eight designs flipping it maybe i'm only gonna be able to do eight then um but my point is you have taken what i said way too literally and there is absolutely zero design skill you've got one two three four you've got five fonts you've got some in this black bowl some in not you've got it looks like and a daughter looks like it's slightly italics the picture is just awful um and it's like I feel like you just wanted to take every single niche box of targeting and then you've kind of just like thrown it all onto a shirt and you've tried to sell it. I do not think this shirt will sell. I just, it's just a mess. What, how do I read it? Do I read it? Yes, I'm a girl and a daughter and a mum. Do I read it? Yes, I'm a girl and a mum and a daughter and I know program. Like, it's just, it's absolutely awful. I'm sorry for being so blunt with you, but this is an awful design. Um, if you pay someone a fiver to make this design, get your money back. Um, it's just... I like that you've gone into like a target, you've gone targeted, but you now need to make a semi-decent design, right? It's got a, it can't be that bad. It, and I know I said it doesn't have to be so good if you're so targeted, but it still needs to be decent a, a bit. Okay, and then I'm going to stop that there because we're at 14 minutes. Let me know if you like this first episode. I really, really hope you did. Honestly, like, I, I, that would, I did eight designs per ep for this episode, so I think eight designs per episode is going to be good. I'm going to do an episode every two weeks. If you want me to do episodes more often, let me know in the comments down below. And again, if you want to have your design criticised by me, you might not want to because I am a bit mean. But if you want to, then the link's in the description, okay? And please let me know in the comments if you if this is a good idea, if you're liking this this little series, if you think it's a massive waste of time, then just tell me it's a massive waste of time and I'll stop doing it. But I just want to know that you guys are liking it. So drop a comment down below, let me know, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.